Take a look at these renderings of what will eventually replace the existing campus of the Kapi'olani Medical Center for Women and Children. The Medical Center has kicked off an ambitious fundraising campaign to make this $800 million construction project a reality. As KIT Before News this morning's Kenny Choi reports, the look of the hospital will be new, but it says the commitment to helping Hawaii's children will remain. With more than 6,300 deliveries each year, the Kapi'olani Medical Center for Women and Children needs more room than ever. We need space for education and training. Um, we really have a goal of providing family-centered care so our families can stay and participate in the healing process with their children. The new hospital, which will begin construction during phase one starting in 2014, will expand the number of beds from 207 to 243. <laughs> the hospital is hoping to raise 30 million from the public. Jeff Arce is leading the campaign and has a special connection to the project. My daughter was actually born uh, 15 and a half years ago, and she was three and a half months early. So she was the size of my hand when she was born. And, um, and so it touched us very deeply, and that's why I'm involved in the campaign. Currently, the newborn intensive care unit has 46 beds, which families have to share. The new hospital will have 70 private rooms. We've actually touched a lot of people in the community. And Kapiolani, as you know, has touched almost everybody on the whole island, either directly or indirectly. So there's been a lot of really interesting stories of people. When completed, the hospital will also feature new meeting rooms, conference space and dining facilities, and a 17-floor garage. Kenny Choi, KITV4 News. The original Kapiolani Hospital was built in 1976. Phase 1 is expected to be completed by 2019.